uh, send out links for this one. I imagine we'll have two or three streams left. getting this out. Posting. Okay, one more. All right. So we left off, as you can see, uh, there is another fight with Owl, um, Owl Father. Um, it is, to me, the most challenging fight in the game because there's really no, um, there's really no easy way out of that one. Um, you basically have to, you have to go face to face with his aggression and his chaos, know his combos, all that kind of stuff. Um, and he rarely gives you a chance to heal, whereas arguably the harder, the other harder boss. Um, as long as you know the zoning, um, you can you can get a heal off. So this is the start of the end game. We are going to go now to the divine realm. So we, I'm gonna make I'm gonna go talk to. Um, I'm gonna go see if I can get some more uh, snow, snow rice or whatever it's called. Um, and then I'm gonna talk to Kuro. I think everything's set up for all the different end games now. And we're gonna go into the Divine Realm. Give me some rice. Alright, we got some good, some good, fine snow. Okay. That stuff's pretty OP, like it's really, really, really powerful for healing. Okay, so we're going to... we've traveled, let's see, we've beaten... everything up to our father, okay, so... we're going to travel now to back to the Fountainhead Palace and we're going to go... to the Palace Grounds. So the title of my last... <laughs> version of my last stream was dimethyltryptamine and I think it's just not subtle <laughs> that that's kind of what they're talking about really I think when this <laughs> the aroma and you go to the divine realm it's just ridiculous I go and gather the ingredients and go go to this mysterious realm between life and death kind of sounds like a DMT trip to me. So, so you want to arm yourself like you're fighting Okami, the Okami, Okami women, warriors, uh, so piercing Sebi Maru, um, oops, and irregular healing items um, are good. 
here. So we're going up. We're going up towards finally up towards those five pillars that we've been we've seen since the beginning of the game and kind of wondered like what what's that? Why is that up there maybe? Maybe. Maybe some of you haven't. We get lightning up here though. Lightning right away. I just say run to the idol. Press. Now you can use this point as like a grind spot and go back and just kill three Okami warriors. It's about three three k experience, but it's kind of risky. I still never really found a super good use for this point of, of, for grinding. Um, at any point, it's really not worth the drops at a point, so keep moving forward, and we have some serious, serious interesting stuff happening. This is one of the most beautiful things done in gaming, um, I really can't see anything else. For fun, I'll use the eel liver, but... So we are now at the highest point, the single highest point that we could see in the game. Let's see what we can see from here. Let's see what we got. We we're in the mists. And what is that? Is that the is that the uh is that the temple? Let's get our monocle out. Have a look. Oh yeah. Oh, that's where we came in. Oh, that's the start of the fountainhead. Okay. I see. So there's really no connection to the rest of the world here. Nothing at all. Nothing that really connects us. Again, we've gone through. I I can I can never remember the names of these gates, but it's you know, it's a transition. So here's something one of the most mysterious pieces of lore in this game, and I think it's one of the most beautiful. Uh, check out Vat Vidya's uh, interpretation of this to kind of. I think let this set in what this actually means. you think what we've done up to this point we've um, gone to the deepest depths of Ashina and we've somehow managed to find ourselves at the highest peaks what happens when we pray at the highest peak with what appears to be some dead woman what happens This is one of my most favorite things in gaming. It's so beautiful. Might actually die a couple times just because it is a bit strange. So every time we've prayed, we've we've gone to some other place. This is what you play this game for. Senkyoka. The Divine Realm. What do we see? We see the Sakura tree. The base of it broken up. But that looks, you know, like I was saying, that looks like the mountain. Same as the mountain of the of the temple, and what is this horrible looking thing we have? There's a lot of mythology to read into here, but let's take this one step at a time. Something means business.
Oh yeah. This happens. So you can jump on here and you target target one of them and do an aerial death blow and then clear them out. Just like that. No, why did I use that? That's dumb. Easiest way to do it is just jump up, grab one, pick one in the middle, jump ugh. <laughs> Pick one in the middle. <laughs> Run when this starts happening, because then you start getting a shit chasing you. So just jump up. Now you'll start seeing these brown ones. There we go. That's what we wanted to do. Let's kill that. Kill that into So have a look around, there's different Sakura trees out on the horizon. And now we have something which is I this is this is incredible. So we have to take a look at what's happening here, at the details. We're going into a pretty serious fight, but it's it's amazing that we got to learn the details about this. So the dragon has one arm, like us. It's injured. It has a cut on his chest, like Kuru did with the mortal blade. So, so this thing, this you just kind of target it, and you just. Wait for the lightning to hit the branches and run to those branches. Dodge. It's it's a uh, perilous attacks, but just go towards the light and then jump up, target it, zap it. Keep targeting it. Watch out for attacks. In general, stay off the things if you don't need to be on them because you'll get hit by lightning. Oh, it's way over there. So just dodge. This is freaking amazing. This is so atmospheric and beautiful. What a scary freaking dragon too. Promisoft finally does a good dragon fight. This is one of the best ones ever made. Oh, I didn't target him. So if you don't target him properly, that's what happens. Yeah, see, I didn't target him again. So now we get another round. Oh. Okay, so now I think this all, yeah, all gets blown away, and now we go through a, like a, a deflect challenge, essentially. Oof. So it's a little bit more challenging now. Alright, so now we're going to go into a big, big deflect challenge. So you're going to be ready to jump, deflect everything. Watch your posture. Kind of move out of the way. Look what it's doing. It's doing floating passage. You'll see. Floating passage the move. Same move that Genichiro did. That's the forbidden move. So we'll get into the lore of that. Let's go up here. Now run, run, run. Its sword is down, like anything else. 
Run, run, up the sword, up the sword. Use the mortal blade. Remember, the mortal blade was called, what was it called? The gracious gift of tears. The gracious gift of tears. So we've upset the immortal dragon. We've refused its mortality. Or immortality. So what does that do? Puts the game in a different state, that's for sure. And certain key figures will have moved on. Long old times. Okay. Memory Divine Dragon. A battle of an extraordinary foe lingering in the mind of the wolf. Commune with the sculptor's idol. Okay. Divine. The Divine Dragon, ancient deity of the Ever Blossom. So, who knows what we fought? Divine Dragon's Tears. So, we have everything for in game items, I believe. Now we talk to Emma, and look who has fallen ill, and has appeared, appeared to have died. We killed the dragon, and Ishin died. It was keeping him alive. <laughs> the secret passage that leads to Ashkena. Secret passage can be found. We know where that is. That's where we went in the first when we first started playing this game. But we'll do a few other things. <laughs> you remember? Remember that place? Remember Okay, now there's a couple of things that I'm going to want to do. Um, I, wa I want to re-explore the castle. I don't want to do this yet, because that leads you to the actual end of the game. There's several things we want to do first, so let's do those. We can't come back. Oh, right. Yeah, because the castle's being attacked again. So if you look at the idols for the castle at this point, again, they're blurred out. So you have to go back to the dungeon entrance and do it, you know, like, like you did when you're uh, learning or coming back again uh, during the first attack on the castle. Uh, so what I'm going to do is... And you notice the outskirts are screwed. So, you go take a look at the dilapidated temple. What I'm going to do is I'm going to open things up so that we're mobile. Um, to fight the last bosses. Until next time.
Just probably never. But you come here. to go. Where's Emma? What's happening? Oh, we know where Emma is. I'm gonna go check up here for something. Nothing's in the box. So this is like stuff if you missed it. It's the anti-air death blow I found. Let's bought it. Okay, so here... We now head back to the castle. Let's use the memory. Adds our attack power. Find dragon. Maybe that'll give us a little bit more strength against Owl Father. So up until 14 or so is where you actually really do notice significant differences in damage you do. Anything past that, you start getting diminishing returns up to level 27, attack power, and then after that till 99, it's like super diminishing returns, so. At certain points, you just have to get good. And I hate using that word, that phrase, but you do. You just have to learn how to learn the fights. So you can't go the normal way anymore. It's been burned. Who was talking of flames? Sculptor was talking of flames. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grind up first. Travel. And go to the fountainhead and we're gonna do the flower being stage again. I'm gonna do this grind quick and then we're gonna go to the castle and do a idle run just to get everything opened up a bit more again. But the castle's gonna you're gonna see is going to be in a very different state. certain decisions like if you've left if you've left uh, mini bosses that you haven't fought in previous parts yet they won't be there anymore um, there'll be new ones there's new ones that you don't get if you do the sure ending but uh, we do have uh, a few more we do So you can already start feeling the diminishing returns on the attack power. At this point, you have about as much as you need to beat the game with, but you have two optional bosses and an excellent grind spot if you're looking to get your platinum to get like all the stuff. All skills, I'll show that. now. You can see <laughs> skill points are becoming harder to come by. So that's why I say wait for New Game Plus to do your actual like grinding if you're doing like a um, platinum run because you get way more. You can just go to like the first grinding area. You can get there in like five minutes. Scrap 
be able to live here. So I have a feeling. <laughs> I'm just trying to think of what the other other bosses are. That they're little mini bosses. I'm just trying to think of what's been missed. If I missed anything, I don't think so. No, I've gotten all the Shichimin warriors, gotten all the headless. Okay, so one more round should get us our skill point. So, let's head back to the Ashina Castle, so we can be in Kuro's room, or we can head to the dungeon again. Let's do this, because it allows us to open up a couple areas. So the castle is going to be under siege, now by the Interior Ministry, now that Ishin is dead. You need sure nowhere to be found. Interior Ministry is making their move. So there's going to be red ninjas and purple ninjas and every kind of ninja you can imagine everywhere right now. And uh actually some good little mini bosses. Oh I totally forgot about the other little mini bosses that come in here. Right. Right. <laughs> There's some cool stuff actually here. So nothing. We don't need anything from him. So it's kind of cool as you loop back through these areas and, you, and you be, you, it's like, whoa, what the fuck's happening? Everything's on fire. We can't get through here. What do we do? So, I couldn't finish his quest because I didn't send him a, a subject. So our normal way back into the castle <laughs> that we've relied on whenever we've needed to come back here is no longer available to us. So we have to find something else. Oops. Rest. So you can get those guys out of the way. So we do have to go back to Kuro's room and go out the window. We can jump very quickly back up to the top and get that idol. I recommend you do that. It kind of shows you the way. You can either open that window or go this way. Uh, let's go out this way. So we follow. We can we can take a look now. At what's happening in this world? Things are different. Castles being burned. But let's follow our way around back up to the top first before we take it too big of a look. Get ourselves this idol. It's always good to have this idol open so that you can orient yourself in the castle. It's easy to find most things once you know where this is. So now we can have a look. Oops. 
Okay, so as we look at everything, it's a Shin's place over there, it's a Shin's lair. Um, we can see, we can kind of see the mountain now. The mist is not as thick, we've been up there. We un understand the divine realm now. And that seems to have diminished the, the temple. There seems to be there's less fog around it. Um, we've been to the inner sanctum. We've been to the inner parts of it, the main hall. We've been to the five-story pagoda there. Notice how the shape, five-story pagoda, three-story pagoda. If we look at the castle, if you look at the Harada estate, all have that structure. I believe a lot of the story is told that way. But this is all kind of the same stuff. So, what we want to do is there's, a, there's several like ways um, again to get back through the castle. We want to find the idols again. So one of the first things you can do is go to the right, like you were going to kinda talk to Ishin if he was still alive. And things start going crazy. Once you're in here, let's go into Ishin's room. Or you think you'd be safe? What the hell is happening? We now have a mini boss, right? <laughs> this one's fun. This one's a real. This one's a. This can be a real challenge for people. There's gonna be a Shinin warrior down there. The guy that does the really fast one two one two. I'm probably gonna need that. Need some divine confetti. How you run through? Oops. <laughs> I just wasted a fucking confetti. Damn it. Anyway, we found it a another idol. It's good enough. So now we can sneak blow on him. Do a sneak blow. Let's do that. <laughs> I totally wasted a confetti, but that's no big deal now because we have, we can purchase them. That's our currency now. The arrow can trigger. That's why we have a spirit fall. So I'm gonna use another confetti. I'm gonna use the goat can trigger and have my healing ready. Head down here again. So we should be facing the other way now. Get death blow on him now. Leave. <laughs> so let's try and see if we can do it. So he does damage through like your first introduction to no charm. I'm gonna get perfect to flex. Okay, posture down. Ooh. He will rip you apart if you don't fucking do this right. Shows it to you. I love it. Oh! There's his red eyes. Wait for him to put his sword away, turn around. You might actually be able to get a death blow. <sighs> yeah. 
He's hard. We got our one death blowback. Let's get some uh let's get some healing ready. Watch that flash. Can it hack in. We got the snow happening, so. healing item. Ah, divine grass, and we'll put some pellets. Um, we'll draw. We want to do some vitality pretty quick. We want to heal first. Get some healing happening, and be prepared. Okay, so we've opened up a little bit more of the, uh, the dojo again, and now we can see that the, everyone's pretty much gone, and there's a sh there's a ninja purple ninja there. The castle has been essentially taken over, so we have purple ninjas everywhere. We look. Let's do that now. Get this all back to normal. still have our regular buddy purple ninja in here um, but we can go up now to the top and actually use that as a way to get around so, the way you'd normally go to fight one of the many bosses you fight up here so you can now use this as like your, your guide okay so this way we want to just try and find all the different idols again this way is the reservoir, so we can get down there, and I believe, the, yeah, the reservoir is just on the other side of that. So we can get down there and get that, and then we can move from there over to the castle gate. And then get the serpent shrine as well. It's funny that the guy, that guy's there. Oh! Oops. <laughs> so this guy's hiding. Thousand experience. It's insane. He's hiding. And I believe there's like three or four of them that come through here or something. Yeah. So you gotta watch out. But that's kind of where we need to go. I really just want to get this idol again. Mainly. Old grave idol, I believe it is here. So, the spear guy that's normally here is no longer with us. It's some cool... I, I love... It's this typical from soft lore. You need to kill these guys. Everyone's freaked out. 
this invasion's insane. So you can come over here and you get an eavesdrop moment on this spear guy, which is kind of like an interesting thing. They they give this one guy a kind of a story, and and you can eavesdrop on him at various points in the game. So now he's chanting. <laughs> so he's trying to escape gold. Love it. Good drop. Great for that stuff. So come down here. Monkeys will be back. In full force. Pretty serious monkeys. But let's get this uh, idol again. The monkeys. This is serious. Watch over the white mo white monkey. Ugh, rest, rest, rest. Those white monkeys are brutal. Either way, it's brutal. So you can come back here and fight white monkeys now. Um, very challenging. That's not what we want to do. Let's run back through there actually and see what we can do. Oh, monkey's there, I see. Oof. Oof. Damn monkeys. I got lost. So buddy's back. He's still good for drops. Up oh, like coin purse every time. So they don't even want to fight anymore. So this takes us to a key part. We want to go back now. We want to. We want to retrace our steps. Rest to the old grave. Now we get to one of the most effective mining spots in the game. Um, you're gonna need this for your end game grind stuff anyway, so you might as well do it. We want to head for that bridge. So there's another back where we fought that general near the beginning of the game. There's that first path to the first headless, the, the original Ashina outskirts. And the first areas we were in over there, we gotta head back that way, because there's there's other things over there that are um, important to us. I'm gonna go up this way, so we can see that there's a kite. You can use that from another spot, but let's just go this way. Now watch out, the cannoneers will f shoot you. If they see you. So gotcha and sugar is good to have. So they will So let's just load that up. Let's use gotcha and uh spear fall. Since we have it. So this is use spirit emblems, but you get the same effect as gotcha and sugar. Okay, so everyone's going across the bridge. Just run. Run through it all, but don't get hit. I'm gonna fight a little bit, go ahead, but just don't get hit by that shit.
So you see, there's another there's another boss down there, another mini boss. Two of these guys at a time is a bit tricky if you're not careful. So you can see that guy over there, you can see his hat. Let's get him. So we wanna generally uh, stay pretty well hidden. We see that there's a dude running around over there, over on that side. There's a noisemaker dude over there. And then there's this guy here who will Fight us. Okay, so we want to keep uh, our attention, our profile low, so keep using the Gachin Spirit Fall, it's handy. But now we want to run up on here, jump across, stay hiding, and kill this guy. Stay hiding, and now we can actually get a death blow on this boss. This is another drunkard thing is we have a scrub who's running around who is going to give us trouble if we don't take care of him so let's take care of him come back in here I believe he does he kind of does like rounds there he is over there you can kind of see him so let's try and take him out if we can before the other guy notices uh, shit we're not gonna be able to Divine Confetti. Okay, so let's go kill that other guy first. He comes back around. Yeah, let's kill him. Get him out of the way. Okay, so now fight this guy like you would any other drunkard. Stay, st stay far away and oil him up when you can. So let's use, let's just make sure we have proper healing. Uh, oil him up. I think this one is immune. Is this one immune to fire? I can't remember. He does fire stuff, so he blows fire, so watch out for that. Um, same thing though. You, you pretty much just play keep away on as you would if any of the other drunkards. Just be a little bit more wary of what he actually does. One. Now he has a flame sword. Watch out. So I believe he's immune to a fire. So let's uh, 
just arm ourselves up with divine confetti and fight this motherfucker. One, two, and just go in for a hit. Come out. One, one, mighty two. Go in, get ready to deflect. Oof. He hits like a truck, don't let him hit you. Heal when you can. Get your posture built up. Watch out for fire. But just play it safe. Dangerous. You can deflect. Make sure you deflect. <laughs> ah, it's killed. So he has a fuck ton of health. That's why it's good to use Divine Confetti on him. He does a lot of. He has a lot of health. You're just doing chip damage on him like this, like... Alright. So we now have... Uh, three or four prayer beads remaining. There's one more mini-boss before we get into our final round of bosses. So let's go down here and we're gonna find something familiar and something kinda sad. This ends ends part of the plot. And I didn't take advantage of it actually. Culminating Mercury. So you get all these guys. Watch out. Remember this? Beginning? Come up here again. This the idol's still here. So reset. A lot of people don't know about this location actually, but it's kind of one of the key ones at the end game. And now you are on the best, probably the most profitable grind loop of the game. So what you do, I'll do this to get to our, our three points, and uh, you just go up here, target this guy, kill him. Oh, it's supposed to be a death blow. I'll get it down though. I haven't done this in a long time. Now you get some pretty sick drops. If you have Demon Bell active here, you get insane drops. So there we have a guy down here. Take him out. So this is where you start getting the Fulminating Mercury. So we have guys going up now. You can see that's some insane, insane experience just as is. So you just rinse and repeat. But we have some plot. We have friends over here, don't we? Where did they go? Anyama shop. What's happening? What's happening? So we come on to the other side and uh, this is what we're hit with. <laughs> as I run over. We see a dead tarot troop 
and uh, our friend Anyama. What's wrong? Good that you finish his his quest line so you get to this point. <laughs> Purchase items. Promissory note, one sen. Now everything's ten percent cheaper. So when you buy money in NG plus and stuff like that, you're actually buying it for what it's worth. You don't actually pay interest, <laughs> essentially. Um and everything's cheaper. And with that, his quest comes to an end. Anayama and Kotaro's quests are over. So for merchants, you want to go to um, that guy, pretty much. But everything's a bit different around here now. We have these uh, these guys are wandering around, and they're hard, harder than what. We also want to have. Um, your axe ready. What am I doing? Axe. Okay, so there's like these there's ninjas. Uh little assassin fucking dudes. We wanna head up. Here. See if there's anything left we can purchase. It's important. Nope. <laughs> no. I've never actually, I never actually ended up going to here um, when we first played the game. But it's actually a pretty dangerous area. You gotta be really careful now. In here. And I don't want to go through here just yet because I want to get my skill point on and then I'll come back here and show everybody what's over here and uh, we're pretty much we're close to the end game we're gonna go back to the loop over here this one Oops. Reset. We'll do this loop like twice probably and it'll give us uh, what we need. Ah, 
Oh, so you, you could usually just drop down on that guy. Sometimes doing that gets the attention of the other guys, though. It's best to do this with Demon Bell, too, because then you get more of the Almighty Mercury. This guy gives us a ton of experience. And this guy gives us a ton of experience. So we're getting some good. Whoa! Good end game loop. Do one more, one or two more times. I think will give us our skill point, and then we'll I'll, I'll head over to what would normally be the Shina outskirts, and is now home to what many consider the hardest boss in the game. I don't think it's the hardest boss in the game, but it's uh it's going to need its own its own episode. I believe all three of these end bosses are probably going to need their own multi-hour stream. <laughs> because they're hard. But I could be underselling myself here. Take out this guy first. He fights. The other guy will just arm his cannon. Get ready and just beat him up. Okay, so that should give us our skill point. Okay, cool. All right. So, we do want to use our money. Let's head back to that merchant that we just came from. Unfortunately, Aniyama's gone. So you can't get Aqua Sugars. You sh good thing you got that Aqua Spirit Fall thing, right? <laughs> Look at this. Everything is overtaken. What's happening? What's happening to this world? There's enemies everywhere. What's happening? This isn't the world that I remember. There's an ogre. There. Go and take care of them, ogre. Now you fight a general version of their dudes. These guys are hard. We want to get out of here. We're gonna die. Yeah, go back. Go back to fighting your shit. You want to come through here? All the way through. You could talk to him if you want. Everyone will. Get wasted here, I think. You just uh, wait. Ah, no. We will use the idol. Commune with this idol. And it's called Flames of Hatred. What do you see out there? We see. There are so many ways you have to fight this battle that you can fight this battle. Um, I personally recommend just using commune or rest. You read the flames of hatred. So we use that malcontent ring. We can use that to stun it. Now what I prefer using right off the bat is some kind of aqua sugar. Fire. 
buff. And then just go. Now this becomes really hard. I'm not used to this. I'm not used to there being actually any any enemies around here. I might actually get a whole freaking <laughs> ridiculous. Stay on him. Stay close to him. Jump. Ooh. Stay close to him. As close as you can. As soon as you're out of, as soon as you're out of range, you are fucked. You're dead. As soon as you're out of range. See, he reads heals like a motherfucker. He can deflect everything, but it does a ton of damage. And you still take burn damage. Get close. Close to him, or you're gonna die. Close, or you're gonna die. See, so you're gonna die. <laughs> so there's the cheese. You could, I've. I've done it once. There's the speed run cheese you can do for him, where you actually run up one of the pillars. So I'm gonna go fight. So you have an option now to come fight this guy. You have an option now to go fight uh, Owl Father, and you have an option to gain skill points to upgrade your attack power. So now let's go get our final prayer bead. So we're going to travel back to the top of the castle. And, um... Actually, we can do it... No, no, we can't do it from the dungeon entrance because it's closed. Let's go to the... Yeah, let's go to the lookout. And what we're going to do... Is... We're going to take out, hopefully the last mini boss which is quite a challenge if you don't do it right but I'm gonna just tear him apart so what I like doing with this one in particular Yes. Okay, so we're looking for the um what was it again? Where oh, the reservoir. Okay, so we know that this way
castle gate is down that way, and we do want to get down there too. Um, there's another way down. There's a whole way across here where you end up fighting a lot of guys. Um, let's do that. And, and we end up back on the other side over there, the castle gate. Um, there's the reservoir again. The reservoir should be just over here. Right? I wish you could see the demon of hatred out there right now. The battlefield where it's taking place. And there's the fort and there's the kite to get there. There is uh, the whole first part of the game where you came through. Galapagos temples over there. It's pretty cool to put it all together. Um, I don't believe there's any more bosses inside the castle. There's just one by the reservoir. Ah, shit. Kind of annoying when you get those things happening. Okay, so, reservoir. Where the fuck is it? I always can't find the freaking reservoir. There it is. grave. I thought the reservoir was over here. Ooh. He's played deflect with those guys. Now, yeah, we can run through here. So you can see now. Here we go. The Sheena warriors are fighting. Single-handedly defending. Oh! <laughs> it's insane. Either way, get out of here. Some good scores from these guys, might as well fight them. <laughs> Major overkill on that. Okay, so now we're back at the castle entrance. And there was a general fighting a general, and <laughs> why did we interrupt that? We could have just let them fight, now we gotta fight Nashina General. Which are still fun. Hey bud, I'm trying to help you, man. I'm trying to help you, man. Oh. 
bit stronger. Mistake. So I can't re quite remember how to get to the reservoir. I think if we go through here. So now we can drop. Remember, we can, we can go underwater. I haven't looked. I haven't done my underwater pass. You want to do that before you finish your first play through the game. Just go everywhere you can underwater. See what you got. I think I got it. There was a fish that was through here. This way. I can't remember. Did I get the idol? Ah, oh, the little munchkins are coming. They're really hard. Ah, uh, they're annoying too. These ones. I'll actually pre be prepared for them because they're annoying. These little guys. So, did I get the idol? No, I didn't. <laughs> now they're all going back up the stairs. So, you can kind of use this as like a grind area. He tells you about this area over here, so we'll do that, but you can kind of just see what these guys do against each other. <laughs> Dude, I'm trying to save your fucking world. Everyone else is... As you can see, we're quite, quite strong. So this guy says, "Grown." Everyone seems to know. Ooh. So we got to go back. So he's telling us to go where we've, we've already gone. Yes, yes, we will. Yeah, my gratitude. There's a, there's a kite you can fly, and he dies. But that's not what we wanna. We wanna actually deal with this shit. We don't wanna fight this guy. Ah, puppeteer him. This way? Yes, it is. Right? No. Down here. Here's the reservoir. Looking for this idol. Okay, so this is the final mini boss of the game. And you're gonna recognize him if you've had a challenge so far with 
this one particular mini boss. I am actually going to do a grind um, to get up to the five skill points and get the attack power. So I'm going to travel back to the oops outskirts, the outskirts wall. I'm just going to do that that run. That run is awesome. Um, actually, I'm going to probably grab the demon bell just to get those fulminated mercury drops and then we can go back to the dilapidated temple and work on our own prosthetics because the sculptor is now that demon he's been overtaken by his lust for killing he has not successfully become Shura technically become a demon Okay, so I am going to grab the uh, demon bell, since I am a demon. And there's no sense in doing this grind without uh, there being a real point to it. So we'll get... Um, more fulminated mercury which will let us do some upgrading to our prosthetics the final kind of leg of them you get the other lapis and all that stuff you get that all through um, killing the demon hatred but we need to kill owl father to, to get one of the other endings. Uh, okay, so travel. I'm just going to go back to the outskirts and just do this loop until we get five, then I'll up the attack power again and then maybe go up against some of these bosses. Maybe I'll take one of them out. I think with one more attack power I think I'd be pretty pretty good against Owl without much of a struggle. We'll see. Demon of Hatred. As long as I'm buffed up, I'm generally good. Uh, we'll reveal the end, though, in this episode. And such such will start my grind on the end bosses again, learning them in this game, because it's hard. If you did not feel a wall, at the end of this game, you aren't human. <laughs> Look how quickly that gets our experience up. So you can offline. I might grind up one more afterwards after I try some fights with the extra attack power. So I'm doing the exact opposite as my other playthrough, where that playthrough I'm doing with less attack power than I would have, than I even have now. And I'm fighting way through midway bosses and in plus two. Um, but on this playthrough, I'm just trying to show again, like what you could do to make it a bit easier. Actually, see this game for what it is, because it is beautiful, and I think more people should play it. I hate the timing on these guys. It's really delayed and strange. And I'm not really sure what it's trying to teach you. Maybe it's kind of like Owl. I don't know. You can usually tell what kind of like what the boss enemies you're about to fight are gonna be like by the enemies around them in this game. You know, like you learn the Ashina Warriors. Well, you'll be good against Kanichiro and whatnot. But these guys are kind of like 
I think that's just in and of itself symbolic. The symbolic of change. The symbolic of a homogenization of all the styles. Because you see like the general ones doing like monk moves. It's ever everyone's everyone's got their own it's its own martial art now. Is this guy still up here? Is there like a spear guy up here? No. So you can go back that way again. Let's go back up there, actually. And uh, there's some baddies back here. Oh yeah, you have to go back around on the outside. We can do that. Oh yeah, you have to go back down that way. I forgot about that. Oh well. We don't need to go back up there yet. Let's just do this loop, get the five, and then maybe go fight a boss. Ugh. So stupid. What am I... <laughs> All right. I would love if I could end this video on a beating Owl Father, so let's, I think that's what I'm going to aim for. I'll fight him a few times and aim for killing him. I'm not getting any fulminated mercury. get him for this guy. Look at this experience. Oh, this is like, if I would know, I want to plat the game. I think that's what happened. I got to about NG plus three and I just used this whole area as my own grind for getting um, all the skill points in the game. It's good for that. But you get way more experience in NG plus, so just do it there. Oh, that's not good. That's not what I wanted to do. That is not what I wanted to do at all. <laughs> wow. Okay. <laughs> be careful. We got our five. Okay, so I'm gonna upgrade our attack power. There's two things I'm gonna do. Um, enhance our attack power. I'm gonna get rid of the demon bell. We're gonna buy uh, ourselves some freaking divine confetti. So, where would I go? We're gonna fight. Oh, we gotta go back to the dilapidated temple. So, I'm just gonna do a quick round of everything in the important places. I'm pretty sure I'm done. Uh, yeah, I've got the frozen tears. So I'm set up for the return ending, which is the considered the canon canon ending of the game. Oh, looks like we're gonna do some more business. Just do this. Just spend it all on divine confetti, and just never worry about it again, because. 
goes through into uh, the next playthrough too, you're able to buy it. We have everything, so we can upgrade now. Oh, I just spent my money. I just spent all my money. Okay. I want the last light shuriken really bad. So we're gonna get some money out. Go all out now. This is this is the time. This is really useful against the Demon of Hatred. This isn't useful very much at all, but this is, so I'm gonna get that. Oh, it's 3,000. Well, I just need to get a couple hundred more. You could do that by selling some stuff over here. Sorry, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> sell items. <sighs> Don't sell anything like a Jesus statue or anything like that. Pacifying agent. What's what stuff? Oh, Ministry dousing powder. See, like this stuff. Screw it. Like you can get tons of that stuff. Oh, let's get one of our first um, Lazlite. Upgrades, our first final upgrades. So the first one I like to get is the Shuriken. This is excellent in all playthroughs. Um, it's piercing edge, heavily damages vitality, and damages vitality and posture even guarded. So like when enemies are blocking, this if you do the held down version, this still does a lot of work on them, and it uses one. Spirit Emblem, not two, like the Phantom Kunai. So it still does damage through blocks, like Phantom Kunai, but it uses half of the Spirit Emblem. So you wanna... This will become your main prosthetic weapon, most likely, after this. Um, Lazulite Sapling Armor, I don't think it's worth it. The axe is cool, um, if you wanna fight apparition enemies in, in, the, in the rest of the game, but... I like the flame vent because that basically gives you divine confetti. I don't have enough fulminating mercury, but we'll, let's get this for now. And uh, I could use that. Anyway. So we've gotten, we got one more mini boss to fight. Let's go do that. And then we can upgrade our power, get 20 vitality. We'll be at full power uh, for the end. And then I will do some offline grinding to get uh, some other things we need. And I'll explain that. And, uh, and then the last few streams will be probably the end bosses. So let's go fight. Let's go fight. Back to the reservoir. And we're going to come across. Now I did this the hard way the very first time I did it. Um, I didn't think to use my skip my actual ninjutsu. Use it. On <laughs> there's two people actually, at, and it makes if you do it right. Put on some divine confetti and stuff. It makes this fight quite trivial if you do it right. So let's do that. So we got puppeteer. Yes, I'll use that, because... Actually, no, I'll use the Jumanji double. good. Okay, 
like a swing bent. Okay, so now we're fighting a... Shoot, I didn't even get on my good stuff that I need. So we, do, we, need, to, we need to conceal ourselves. Because we need to do a death blow. And I would recommend using Divine Confetti because you want to make this fight fast. Okay. So what you see down there is seven spears and a general. So they're planning on using the Dragon's Blood with Kenichiro. This is seven spears. Again, what you do is you pump a tip. Oh, not that. You don't do that. You don't do any of this. That's not what you do. I think you could cheese this guy off the edge. Seven Spears will go back if you cheese him, but I believe you could cheese the general. <laughs> There was a way you can make him fall off. I think that was it. Oh, no, they're both still there. <laughs> I did this totally wrong. The best you're supposed to use the whistle to get the guy to come over. So now we'll do this the hard way. What did I just do? Oh, that was bad. <laughs> I didn't even. Oh, that was horrible. <laughs> oh, I did this wrong. So I just die. So this is there's a way to do this fight. It's fun. We'll do it. Now 
once I'm done this, uh, I can open up the end boss battle, essentially. So what you want to do... Screw the fire shit. You do want to gachin. Gachin sugar. And use the... Um, Okay, so we want to use this. And we want to get hidden a bit. <sighs> Why'd I have to do that? Seven Spears saw me immediately. <laughs> so this battle's over. I'm not gonna win it. Let's see if I can cheese him. you want to do this. <laughs> so you could just... out of spirit emblems it doesn't really matter you just want to take away some health this is some mega cheese right here this is How you do the mega cheese? You're a ninja. Do whatever you can to win, right? Oh, how did he get out here? How did he get out here? I've never seen that. <laughs> there we go. All right. So now we have seven spears to ourselves. <laughs> We're still gonna die. I still always die to this guy. Follow-up sucks.
Damn it. We want to do whatever we can to win this fight. So I'm going to put on some divine confetti. That seven spears down. All right. <laughs> so we cheesed him. We cheesed his friend. Okay. So the, the other way you can do it is by puppeteering this guy to shoot him, and and you puppeteer his friend. But I didn't do it. I did it. I did it the hard way. So that is all of the mini bosses in the game down. We can enhance our physical attributes. Yes. That's the highest you can go. That's the highest you'll ever get. So now... Let's have a break here. And go open up... The end. And I will go through... The end. <laughs> I'll fight the end boss. Um for a bit. I like using Ashariku Spirit Fall for, for that. But we go this way. And it's like we're at the beginning of the game again. Running through the reservoir to an exit the same way it's like we've gone this path before this is familiar we've done this The story was being told about how Ashe was being invaded since the very beginning of the game when we found the assassin under here. That was the beginning of the end. So we jumped down here, jumped down here, jumped down here. Let's get some items. There's a few items up here. Heavy coin purse. Some more items down here. Keep the balloon of spirit. <sighs> Near secret passage. So this now. It's the true end game. So I'm gonna I'm gonna prepare myself for this. I think I have my buffs right. I'm worried if I win. Here we 
we go. Actually. Aha. Uh -huh. Sorry, I tricked you. I think I already got everything I need from her, but I'm just gonna make sure I'm gonna get some rice if I can. Cold snow. And then we are going to fight. ミコの忍びよ。龍の涙を手に入れられたのですね。ああ。これが龍の涙を渡しした氷涙とともに苦労様に飲んでいただければ我が百合籠へ宿っていただくことが叶いましょう。龍印を返すことを望まれるならば。龍の涙とともにお渡しした氷涙を苦労様に飲んでいただけばよいでしょう。そうすれば我が百合籠へ宿っていただくことが叶いましょう。巫女の忍び笹目雪がさ白金の宝城を冷たい。game up to the possibility of show you guys what hap what happens here at the end and then the actual fighting will probably take place in another part because this is going to take me some time probably so here we are Right off the bat. I like using the Tonto. Heal. Divine confetti. Yashiriku, and just get ready. Kuro's out here. He's been, he's been stabbed. What can? It's like the beginning all over again. <笑>ケイチロと a lot more confident this time. So here we go. So what I equip myself with is... Uh, if I do this right, I should be able to get him in a few seconds. And then we really see the final end. Can we go do the Mortal Blade thing? 
Hit him with it twice. Ginichiro is a joke now. Opens a gate to the underworld, opens it opens immortality. <laughs> so he's using him his body as a sacrifice to resurrect someone we've seen before. First person we saw in this game. Oh Arena Mom. I'm gonna fight his first little phase a little bit, and then I'm gonna I'm gonna try and end this stream with beating an owl. I'm not gonna not gonna fight him to the death yet. I fucking love this. This is my favorite. Okay, so we want to shift this around. Some aqua sugar. So I want the Yashiriku sugar to wear off. Watch out for him, he is insanely fast. Well, he's a pellet. You will die if you let him. So, so you can run away from him, and he'll start doing a three-move combo. When he starts that, that's when you can attack. Or when he ends that, that's when you can attack him. But watch out! So he goes one, one, two, three. So now that's when you can attack him. But you gotta get used to that. That's fucking hard. Just kind of want to give you an idea how hard this guy actually is. Switch. Um, you can use a Chimonji. Uh, Mortal Blade's a good way to get some vitality down on him, but just be on defense. He's gonna come fast. He's a scary motherfucker. So you can stay outside his range, but just like that, come in and do some vitality damage. <laughs> that Makiri is so fast, you do not have a chance of dodging that. Watch out! So you have a chance there to fight him or to get in there and do some damage. But you can see you can you have a lot of time to run away from him. 
watch out for that Makiri. But if you're running, you'll trigger his AI and he'll start doing a move. Stay away from stuff, you don't want to get tripped up on things. But if you bait him like this, now he'll, he'll do one, two, three, go in for an attack. Get ready to defend. He has a very he has very little rhythm to follow. Watch out for those three moves. And generally, you'll stay okay. Okay. <laughs> One, two, three. So you can just run around and bait him this way. This is the easiest way to fight Ishin. Um, you don't actually have to go toe to toe with him ever. Um, you just learn his distancing. But he is more fun to fight up in person, so I will do that fight when I actually choose to beat him. So you can just learn his moveset, run around, trigger his AI in different ways, figure out how far his attacks actually go. If you fuck up once, he will kill you. He is no joke. One, two, three. So you just want to watch for those one, two, three combos and watch for his very quick approach. He'll do a quick tell. He'll duck down slightly, and then you just want to be about this far away. Don't... And then you can run in for a minute. You get fucked if you get hit by that shit. So, the next... <laughs> as you can see, he's a, basically a four-phase boss. Um... To win this fight, you essentially do. At this point, you ha do not want to have used a heal or anything like that. You should get his first phase down perfect, or you barely take any damage because you'll see what happens when we get into his second phase here. So. One, two, three. So now <laughs> he pulls out a fucking spear and a gun. So now you're playing a runaway and you're waiting for him to do those moves. Now watch out though. He is not a man of honor anymore. You can bait that. Defending it. Watch out for his gun. <laughs> And you don't want to get greedy there. Now he'll come back quickly. Now do this. Oh. You don't want him. Oof. You don't want to lose targeting on him. And a slide like that can mean death. So watch for the jump. And then he'll do a quick attack at you. And then come back with some something of your own. And it could be anything, but just be prepared for a lot of fucking fighting. So we're... The Glock Saint. Shoo! Oh, 
Watch out. Mm. See? One fuck up and you're dead. So you can do this strategy over and over. It's not very fun though. It is fun to fight him up close. But if you're having trouble, just keep doing this, learn his distance, get some damage in, jump away and use your heals very, very, very sparingly. And that's how you fight him the cheap way. So if you jump away, you get more invincibility frames. Don't jump off the edge, it sucks. But if you keep running, you keep firing his AI to be aggressive. You want to grab those Makiris, or you can just wait for him to do his quick attack like this, and hit him, jump back. Let's see if we can get him to third phase, and then uh, and then we'll call it a, a fight. So you want to watch, you want to bait that essentially. One, two, three, four. Watch out! Don't let him get too close. So the spear jump. Now the quick attack. Up. Oh. It's too risky if you miss, so stay away. Jump back. Jump back. I'll come back. Jump back. This is the cheap way to beat him. I'm not gonna beat him this way. Showing if you're having a problem with him. So you can always use that jump back. There's a lot of invincibility frames there. See? You don't you almost don't get hit by anything if you do that. Just right. Oh, he's gonna hit me. See, you, he's not very hard if you if you do it this way, but if you go fight all that shit, it's hard. And that's what I want to do. I want to show that later. But this is the easy strategy for now. This is the hardest phase when you fight him face face to face in this phase. This is the hardest one. You can just trigger his AI. Like that. I'll come back around. This is the easiest way to beat Ishin. Let's see if we can get to get him to third phase. Nope. Oh, we got one death. <laughs> I'm not even going to waste my time on that. Ah, why not? So he'll read your heals. He'll read your heals like that. Look how good the rice is, though. So we should be able to get him in phase three. Then we'll die honorably. Now we have lightning. Same thing, but we have a lightning version. So he'll start with it, usually. Just watch. Want to do that? So you can use the lightning. 
to really win. Oh. That's how you die against the Shin. <laughs> Use your jumps though, you get so much more invincibility. So, as you can see, I can get him down to pretty close to killing him. Just from running around. So that's not how we're going to beat him though. So, I'm going to go fight Owl now. And end this stream with that. Hopefully we beat him. I want to beat Owl Father. Okay. So let's uh let's do this. Let's take um Get our healing back to normal. So we'll do this. This will be our win, hopefully. <laughs> so I'm going to do the same kind of strategy. I'm just going to bait and then hit with uh, the mortal blade and uh, healing is pretty sacred so I would um, only use what you need That's not how you want to use your death in this fight. See? You want to play him wide. Oof. That was horrible. Play him really wide. Oops. He stays on your ass, though.
all over you in this fight. And you just don't want to give him an inch. Because he will kill you so fast. Watch out for that combo. <laughs> that was horrible. Alright, I'll fight him one more time and then uh you guys know what my homework is. And hopefully the next three streams will be each one of these bosses. Unless I could take out Owl right now. I think I think I have a pretty good chance. I'm not I'm just playing pretty bad right now. There's ways to punish him with fire. We could do some kunai chip damage right off the bat. Let's do that. Let's just try that out. Use our spirit emblems that way. They do more damage when you do have Divine Confetti on and when you do have Aqua Sugar on. He'll want to dis He'll distance himself from you like that. And you want to watch out for that, because that's, that's some dangerous shit. Jump through it. You want to go on that version of it, you want to go through it. You got to watch, though. It's different. See, that version... Whew. Up, up. Oh. Show for that shit. Ooh, we got hit by Shadow Fall. That is rough. Where is he? Is he in the owl? Okay, let's fight again. Oh, he just 
disappeared. Death. You don't really get much of a chance to heal in this fight, but so. Watch out. <sighs> Run. Stay away from him for now. Until you can get a good target on him. Watch the owl. Use jumps when you can. Jump away. Okay, good. So he'll always do his he always do that attack out of there. We have an out, okay. You want to just avoid that? Run away from the owl. Heads up! Oh, that was bad. Shadow fall. You don't want to get hit by that. You don't want to get hit by any one of those. So let's get ready for him again. Yes! And Owl Father goes down. I played that pretty sloppy in the New Game Pluses. That would not be tolerated. But we won. Battle memory of an extraordinary foe, yes. 
the foster father confronted in old memories was a man in his prime. So this was his memory of, of that, and now we have the aromatic flower. Flowers of the ever blossom that bloomed in an old memory, grafted by Takaru, who took the branch from the divine realm. So that arm off of the uh, dragon, the tree. One who seeks purification may impart the dragon's tears into these flowers to the divine heir of the dragon's heritage, thus severing shackles that bind at the immortal bearer of the dragon's blood. So we have another way we can we can purify the purification ending. So I'm gonna probably I'm gonna use our attack power. All father is down. Let's check that memory again, actually. That's for lore's sake. Let's read some of these. Let's start from the beginning. Gyobyu. Gyobyu. Gyobyu Anawa once led a group of infamous bandits, but was defeated by Ishin, who was so captivated by Sho's strength that he took him in as an Ishina warrior. Aniwa would later go on to become Genicho Ashina's most trusted retainer. So we went in and took him out. <laughs> Lady Butterfly, Phantom Butterfly. The Phantom Butterfly was appointed by Wolf's foster father as one of his mentors in Shinobi techniques, which he taught us back in the day. These mentors employed strict methods. The cultivation of Shinobi techniques can only be found and er, can only be achieved in the midst of battle. Genichiro. Born a peasant, Genichiro Ishino was taken in by the Ishina after his mother's death. With his country on the brink of defeat, Genichiro took to heretical arts and mastering er, mastered the lightning of Tomoe. Such, her such heresy may be the key to saving her. Bowling screen monkeys, the halls of illusion lie on the threshold betwixt life and death. Departed souls and the divine children drift and sway, taking shelter in the monkeys of the temple. Shots such as why the divine child of rejuvenation speaks to them as friends. Guardian 8. They say that the infested body is the mark of, an, uh, of the undying, but such a long life would surely be quite lonesome for even an ape. Perhaps the echoing roar of the guardian ape was in fact a solicitation of sorts. So when we first fought the guardian ape and didn't kill it with the immortal blade, we heard that roar afterwards. That was him taken off, calling out to his mate. At one time, the guardian ape shared its den with a mate, but he alone became infested while the other passed away. And not even the flowers offered in tribute to her passing have withered, or now, <laughs> even the flowers offered in tribute to her passing have withered to dust. The corrupted monk. The corrupted monk donned the mask of the fierce guardian deity. Her form was nebulous appearing as if in a dream. What was the reason, what reason could there have been for guarding the Mibu village cave entrance? Well, we know that. And the true corrupted monk, true corrupted monk was among the infested standing over the fountain head palace. Indeed, immortality would seem a fitting quality for the eternal watcher of the palace. However, I told you there was lore about her. Great Shinobi Owl. We read this one. The boss father we just read. Divine Dragon. The Divine Dragon of the Ever Blossom came from the west long ago, eventually making its way to this land. Some parts of Ashina are exceedingly old, where the Ever Blossom was growing. Water coursing through her ancient rocks and soil allowed the dragon to take root. So this dragon is a foreign entity, not meant to be not meant to be here with us. Anyway. So we got uh, Owl Father down. Um, with that, I will end the stream. Glad we did that. And uh, probably grind up a little bit and then um, join me again for the end.